looking at the first proof of life beyond Earth. Lowering oxygen, more carbon dioxide. That's beautiful. You finally a daddy. It's gonna be a big custody battle over this one. We have an international cast. American, British, Swedish, Japanese and Russian. And this cultural melting pot makes the dialogue and the interaction between the characters that much richer and more complex. Are you gonna bring the Martian back to Earth? No, we're gonna keep it up here, we're gonna study where it's safe. Look how fast it's growing. Every single cell is a muscle cell and a nerve cell. All muscle, all brain. How smart is this thing? This extends to our director, Daniel Espinoza. He's half Swedish, half Chilean, graduated Danish film school, and he's done big Hollywood movies. So his director's vision is heavily informed by this range of culture influences. He's able to combine this global American concept of the new frontier with a more European reverence for those tiny nuances of interaction between one character and another. Then the third magic ingredient in this Latin American passion and courage, which just makes everything bolder and more exciting. Good night, stars. We've lost all communication. Good night, air. We'll hit the atmosphere in 39 minutes. We won't survive re-entry. But it could. Good night, noises everywhere. Jake Gyllenhaal is a very interesting actor because at his level of success and recognition, it would be tempting to fall back uh, on all actors' tricks that have worked before. But what defines him is his desire to challenge himself all the time, to examine everything and discover new things in everything. That's quite rare for actors, uh, the willingness to spend any serious time outside their comfort zone. What is the primal instinct of any life form? To survive. 